have seen some amazing photos of off-the-grid shipping container homes in exotics and cool locations around the world. And you're thinking, whoa, I want one of those. On this video, I'm gonna share with you nine tips why you should consider before getting into an off-the-grid shipping container home. So if you've been thinking about it for a while, this video is for you. Number one, assess your current situation. Before you decide to invest on a shipping container home, take a closer look at your finances, pay down or pay off your debt, and try to figure out what is the budget for this new project. Whether you're building the shipping container home yourself or paying somebody to do it, even partially, it will cost you money. It is important that you go into this endeavor with a I want to be off the grid and debt free mindset as it will impact the lifestyle for you and your family. Questions such as, how are you gonna make money? Uh, are you be working remotely? Um, do, am, I, am I retired? Do I have a pension uh, that comes every month? Do I have just tons some money sitting on the bank? All those financial questions has to be answered. Uh, obviously, before you move into this new project. This first tip is one that only you can answer. Only you can address it and only you can make that decision. Tip number two, location. Where your next location is gonna be at. Think about where you want to spend the next 20 years or perhaps the rest of your life. This is probably one of the most critical decisions that you will ever make as it will affect the design and the cost of your shipping container home. Make a checklist that includes how to get food, water, electricity, internet, and some of those conveniences that you're currently used to that you want to keep once you move into your new location. In our case, having an ocean view, having the warm weather all year round was on top of the list. So it helped us decide that we want to be here be the island of Puerto Rico. In turn, we don't have to worry about all the mechanics, all the materials, all the building for winter or harsh winter conditions. That checklist will help you decide wh which location will be top rated on your list. If your budget allows it, go with a few acres of land. You're gonna start figuring out once you start your project, there might be other outdoor activities, or other projects you want to be part of, you wanna incorporate in your life. Tip number three, see what others have done. 10 years ago, it was hard, it was challenging to see what others have done beyond just a handful of pictures or videos online. Um, there weren't many information out there, not even in Google or YouTube. Uh, today, there's plenty of videos, plenty of tutorials, plenty of blogs like this one where we are sharing the ups and downs of a living in a shipping container, the challenges of building it, and also all the happiness you know that, that, that brings. So um, it's not always pink, there might be some challenges along the way, but it is about the journey, it's not about the, the house itself. Now, one thing is clear to me, shipping containers are not tiny houses. I mean, they can be if you want, but why? Take for example, this uh, art home. It's uh, made out of three shipping containers, and three bathrooms, two bathrooms, uh, living room, kitchen. We have approximately 1,300 square feet of living space, plus another 600 for balcony that could be a converter in the future for living space, and plenty of land for our projects such as the restaurant and for the, the little ones to run around. Adjust the design of the shipping container home to your budget and those daily activities that you're thinking about doing once the house is built. Tip number four, involve your family and friends. Having the support of family and friends can be extremely important. They can provide those things that will be added to your checklist that could be easily overlooked as you're trying to put your plans together uh, for your new home. 
they can also be a source of information uh, by providing you articles online, by looking out for information that you're seeking, pictures, designs, all these things that will help you put your design together as you uh, start drawing out that final plan for your home. Tip number five, sketch your design on paper. By putting your design on paper, sketching them out, you can think about all those elements that will affect the final design, that will affect um, how you're gonna be living in the location that you have picked. Things such as, you know, how to get food, uh, how to uh, generate electricity, how to get water, septic tanks, storage space, outdoor space, and so on. You can even sketch out how the kitchen is gonna look like and begin putting down, making a list of those things that could be easily overlooked if you don't put it on paper. Tip number six, declutter your life. Make your new shipping container home project a restart of your life. You only have two lives. And the second one starts the moment you realize you only have one life to live. You can start decluttering your life today. Pick a handful of clothes that you wear regularly and pack and store the rest, or even better, donate them. You can start with your closet, then go with your next room, then go with your next room, then jump into the kitchen in a week. And before you know it, you're gonna be getting rid of things that you didn't even need in the first place. Tip number seven, learn about alternative energy. Going off the grid means that you're gonna have to harvest energy from the sun or the wind. Thankfully, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that uh, can help you decide which systems might be better, there's a lot of tutorials, and being able to learn about how to produce energy. While out there, by learning about solar systems, also take a look at um, collecting and filtering water. There's a possibility, depending on the location where you are, that you might not be able to uh, have a water well. For example, here on the island, we are 1400 above sea level, so we have to rely on the rain uh, to be able to get water to the property. Tip number eight, start your seat back today. Going off the grid will also mean that you're gonna have to produce some of the food you put on the table. Now this tip is totally optional, but as you start your shipping container home project, you're gonna realize that you could be so sustained beyond just the water and electricity. And the final tip is to just do it. Set a goal for the next 12 months to look at your finances, pay down, pay off your debt, declutter your life, uh, begin looking at the designs, share with your friends, you know, all the tips that we have shared with you, you can begin start doing today. I will give you a warning. 30% of your family and friends will think you are crazy, but many others have done it. So start today. I mean, you can start like really right now, but after you subscribe, like, and you know, share this video. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, these are the nine tips that one should consider before going off the grid shipping container home spree. So, until next time. We tried to get this video right multiple times, but this is why you should record your tips. At least you can cut, <laughs> edit. Every time I start over, I'm just gonna go three, two, one, okay? <laughs> So, <laughs> I should just be like, <laughs> you could My voice is firm. That's a Korean drum. <laughs> okay. Number eight, start your seed bank. The power self-sustained will come after a glass of wine <laughs> fuck <laughs> just do it just do it just do it don't wait do it now
Well, after you, you know, kind of like and subscribe and then go out and do it. <laughs>